Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today we have Farmlands of the Fallen. Up at the top right, we have the orange GLA Vanilla. This is Logica. I have the feeling, you know, if Marikov's nuke, yeah, he's nuke. This is the reverse of a match we have watched in the past many months ago, where we saw Logica get the win with the nuke, but can Marikov do the same here? Down at the bottom left, we have the nuke for the sign player. This is Marikov. Yeah, if you remember that game, uh, Marikov ended up having like four overlords inside of his base. Getting absolutely wrecked, but is Nuke the stronger army here or is it GLA? I think it's kind of balanced. You probably overall favor the GLA, especially as it gets into the later stages when you get a battle bus. Um, Jean and Kel and stuff like that. But if you can get some oils, get your economy rolling in the beginning, maybe mix in a few helixes. I feel like Nuke has a very good chance as well. And the battle masters can get any supply lines. Saying that, there's a nice box going on. Get in this supply line for at least then kill some uh, workers. Yeah, this is a replay from at least a few months ago. Um, but as you know, I have hundreds of replays on my hard drive. And whenever I feel like we haven't seen those two players in a while, I dig it out. And there we uh, there we have it. Logica with the first technical out across the map. Pretty sure that's the TNT because the TNTs are gone from inside of his base. There are mines, and Logic is going for it. Oh, it's Tech RPG. Oh, he steps on the mines, but he's lucky, though. He is pretty lucky. He could drop off a TNT here. Gets the power. Gets a Battlemaster for his troubles there as well. Kind of nice start there for Logica. Um, yeah, you would definitely take that opening. 100% you take that. I do feel there was a possibility. He could have dropped a the TNT there. Could have dropped a the TNT there. And there, and maybe even got the dozer hand straight away. But either way, he's got one dozer and killed the power and killed the battle master. You probably would take that regardless. Flame here in the middle would be useful for taking out this uh, tunnel. Logic is back in action in the main base. He thinks there's mines here. It looks like a mines kind of setup, but Marikar doing a bit of mind games there. Actually, not made mines as of yet. He's got mines over here. He's not collecting on this truck. Artillery platform in a hut over here on the right side. Logic at denying some red guard. But saying that, though, this one has been captured actually by Marikar. So he's got one oil. Marikar now upgrading to a second war factory. Never forget this guy, by the way, just chilling. He's not dead because you can see him moving a little bit. And another red guard going to try to capture another oil here for Marikar. He's also going to try and get this artillery platform. He's already got this one, so Logica could just start shooting that. But the thing is, the, the artillery platform is pretty beefy. It probably will even win the fight against that bunker. But Logica doesn't seem bothered about hitting the artillery platform at the minute. He's got scorpions killing this oil. The thing is, if you give Nuke room to breathe, yeah, he will get his oils and he'll probably get either helixes or he will get a prop. I think a good tactic here for, for Logica is to go for that dozer hunt. It is going to be a TNT, and he gets this oil. Cool thing is there, he killed his own technical as well. That's not sarcastic. <laughs> That's not sarcastic at all, even though it sounds it. It's uh, beneficial because that technical is going to die anyway, and it's better that Logica kills his own rather than Marikar getting the XP from killing it. So yeah, it wasn't sarcastic, I promise. There is, there is logic in this Logica replay <laughs> from me. <laughs> Uh, technical across the map from Logica. Is he going to be in time to deny this oil? No, he's not. It could be another TNT, though. If it's another TNT, yeah, it is. It's another TNT. Did he kill his technical again? I think he did. So that's kind of nice. But the problem is that Logic is not leaving himself much uh, back at home. Like, has he got a giant army inside of his tunnel? He's got, like, half a tunnel. He needs to be getting the oils of his own. Um, if that's a TNT, yeah, again, going for this dozer would be a, a viable strat. Even a war factory would be kind of good. I mean, if you get that dozer, that's really, really decent. So Logic is going in here. Is there any units inside of here, though, for Logic? Uh, there is. There is. He's going to get the dozer. He's going to get it. That's really... Oh, no, it's escaping. You could force fire the ground. 
Yeah, he does. That's really nice. That is really, really nice there for Logica. He now just has to withstand the storm. Can he withstand the storm, though? Marikar losing a lot of Battle Masters here. I feel like Logica will hold this. Logica was making quads. See, he was scared of Helixes. Uh, I feel like Stingers, Demo Traps, probably more so Stingers. Oh, t tunnels and Stingers, like a tunnel there, Stinger there. Be kind of good because you know the Marikar spam is going to begin now. The problem is these quads do next to zero against these uh, Battle Masters. There is a TNT here. It's a Battle Master. Kind of nice from Logica. I like the strat. But is his army getting too thinned out here by the, uh, by the Battle Masters? No. Logica is holding strong here. But the spam is real. Just look at this big line of cyan units coming out across the map. Yeah, if Logic can get a stinger there, that would be really juicy. Helping out against the uh, the Battle Masters. Yeah, Marikara ain't messing around. He's skewed everything out across the map. He's got his refineries to get a discount on those $800 Battle Masters. Logic are even expanding up in the top left, so marikar has got a bit of a job to do there as well in terms of denying that. He could send a Battle Master through there or it's not covered by the bunkers and maybe start harassing it. Um, but I actually like this position from Logica because it looks like actually he's going to go out across the map now. Is he going to sacrifice his base though in doing so or is he going to really put the pressure on Marikar? Because the war factories are kind of far away so um, this army is going to take kind of a while to get to the war factories, like even if you take out that supply, it's not going to have much impact, and you might drive on the mines as well, because that those crates are nearly mined out. But it's making Marikar react. He is sending stuff that way, which buys time for Logica in his base, I suppose. But it is the bulk of his army. Completely depends how this fight goes. There is a Vet Three Scorpion here for Logica. Got to be careful of the chain reaction. You probably want to send the Battle Masters in one at a time, or maybe in groups of two or three. At the very most, because if the chain reaction happens and all of that dies, then probably Marikar is going to lose this particular game. But yeah, it's looking kind of okay for Logica. He just has to hold. Just has to continue to hold. He's got 3.5k. I'd be dropping Stinger there, Tunnel Stinger here. Random TNTs all over the place. Marikar is bringing in a troop crawler, so that does bring the stealth detection. Yeah, them tank enters are a real issue. Uh, and these battle masters have been spread out quite nicely. It is doing some damage here. But I think overall Marikar will eventually win this. He's pressing X on his army here to not to cause a chain reaction. All of that army though is getting getting cleared. Yeah, it's kind of edgy see stuff. I don't know if that army should have hung around there because it didn't do much, but it has bought Logica some time to get his palace like nearly 50%. The question is, can he now withhold, oh, sorry, withstand the next attack from Marikar, which is going to be a lot of infantry, a lot of battle masters. There is a worker making its way over here, maybe get a sneaky tunnel, TNT on some of these buildings. There's been no mines in any of these buildings, but you can't know that as the GLA. We only know that as the observer here. Logica's bunker there is probably going to get broken, but these quads are useful for stopping the infantry. Palace is almost complete get some rpgs inside of there get a jarman kill out and hold that position logic is also trying to hold this left hand side position that flamer is important to keep alive there for marikar is taking out this windmill thing so far another unit is out for logica it is a technical heading straight across the map there is a sneaky tunnel being built that marikar has not seen this left side for logica of his base is getting stopped Technical heading into the base. It does get blocked partially by a Battle Master. It looks like a TNT. It is a TNT. And he gets it. And he now realizes there's no mines on any of these buildings. So, Logica is playing this really, really well. He is playing it really, really well. This this tunnel gets stopped. Needs to cancel that. I can't believe Logica's floating 7k, actually. Um, Yeah, another tunnel. I mean, he's doing this good. I mean, I'm, I'm just surprised at the lack of Stingers. I think Stingers just mixed in with these tunnels just makes it so much harder to deal with. Logic is actually opting for a market. I suppose the thing is, even though the new code's only on one war factory, one barracks, he does have all the map control. 
He can long distance collect with 92 trucks on each of these uh, supplies in the corner. Which does give him a lot of money and eventually you might be able to overpower the palace. Definitely think a Jean Mankell is a must. If you're going to skip the Stingers then at least get a Jean Mankell. Fortified structure and just bunker in that palace now. I think that is the strat. Yeah. I'm really interested here who's going to win this one. Uh, I really don't know. I mean, there's so much science stuff all over the map. You eventually have to imagine that palace might get overrun. But if there's a Jarman Kell, though, surely all of this infantry can be stopped. Jarman Kell is out. He's now inside of the battle bus. Got to be careful against these battle masters, though, because they can quickly hole mode a bus, which just means basically it goes to the whole situation where you can't move it, a bunkered, bunkered state. Uh, the reason is there's a bug in the game because when it goes to like 50% HP and then takes some kind of radiation damage from a Battlemaster shot, it just instantly goes down for whatever reason, even though it's nowhere near 0%. Uh, yeah, Logic getting the bounty money now. He's building three markets in the back of his base. So if you can just hold within three markets and the bounty money, he might actually do this. This will be an insane hold if he is able to do it, and it will be an insane overpowerment if uh, Marikar is able to break through here. He is breaking through the first layer of just tunnels, but the hard bit is yet to go, which is this battle bus, which is running kind of into this army. But also that palace, that is the stronghold. Palace, fortified structure. Battlemasters are going down left, right, and center, but so is Logica's army. Battlebus comes through. Jean Mankell is going to town. He's earning $70 for every kill. You have to say that's it for Marikar. You have to say Logica's done it. I think Logica getting this scrap will be really good because I think it uh, helps the armor or the HP on the Battlebus. Is it like plus 10, plus 20, plus 40% the more you scrap it up, up until it's fully scrapped state? But that single battle bus now maybe is not even possible to break anymore. It is a little bit low. But Logic has three markets in the back of the base. He's even trying to expand here. Logic are trying to take out this oil now. Which is actually meant to be Logica's oil. Logic are keeping his battle bus moving around in circles. Increased damage output if you do 360. Yeah, Marikar continues the waves. Balbus survives, though. Scorpions are mostly alive. Can't see free the radiation currently, but there is a massive chain reaction. And uh, Logica annihilates Marikar's army, and Marikar has been defeated. You that was a very, very impressive and unique play there from Logica. Getting the Dozer Hunt was very important. I was calling it a few minutes earlier. And he could have got it, but um, there were, you don't know as a Jolet player if there's going to be mines there. It did look like a mine setup, but in the end, Marikar got hunted. I think if Marikar didn't get hunted, I think he would win that. Once Overlords and Helixes come out, and the artillery on the carpet um, makes a hell of a difference. So yeah, I think GLA hunting there is is a very viable strat. Logica did it, and then he held, and the palace didn't even get phased once, and the battle bus didn't even get phased once. So yeah, very, very impressive there from Logica. Well played indeed. Getting a win against uh, Marikar is a very, very top player indeed. GG, well played. Let me know if you thought down in the comments. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.